YouTube welcome back to my channel junk free mama here please make sure to subscribe below um, YouTube changed its terms of service so I need to have all the subscribers I can get I have been doing keto for about two weeks I went back on keto after the holidays and I just wanted to give you guys an update on how I was doing on that um, the holidays I did awful I ate all the fudge all the cookies you name it I was shoveling it in my mouth Oh, it's so good, so bad for you. I ended up gaining some weight and feeling. So, anyways, went back on keto. Um, the first couple weeks, I know a lot of people, or sorry, for two weeks, I know a lot of people talk about the keto flu. I don't ever get the keto flu, but I have heard that it's from just a um, what's electrolyte deficiency. So I make sure to put salt on everything. I use the pink Himalayan salt or black salt, not the white table salt. I know some people drink pickle juice. I think that's disgusting. So for me, I just make sure to add salt in my coffee, salt, a little salt in my water in the mornings, extra salt on my food. So how have I been doing otherwise? I had sugar cravings really bad for the first couple of days. I am a sugar-aholic. I could eat sugar all day long. I get addicted to it so easy. Um, and it's really hard for me to get off. I don't ever drink soda. It's just more like chocolate and cookies and chocolate and cookies. Um, so I had a really hard time with that. But once I got over that hump, um, I'm my appetite's really gone down and I don't even crave that stuff anymore. So what have I been eating? For breakfast, I love doing a Bulletproof coffee. I'm a mom of two. I don't have a whole lot of time to cook in the morning. So I, my Bulletproof coffee, I do heavy cream, um, MCT oil, the brain octane oil from Bulletproof, a little vanilla, sometimes raw cacao, and then um, a little swerve if I want something sweet, and then some cinnamon and a pinch of salt. Put them all in my immersion blender with eight ounces of coffee. Ta-da, I've got my Bulletproof coffee. Sometimes I'm craving a little bacon, so I'll make some bacon, but usually I just do the Bulletproof coffee. The other day I did make some keto bagels, five ingredient keto bagels. They are amazing guys. They are so good. Um, I will post the recipe below for you. That's what you see me eating in the cover picture. Um, my kids ate all of them because they are so good. Um, you can eat them. I ate them with a salmon cream cheese. Uh, super good. As far as lunches, I try to keep it simple. I work at my husband's office three days a week. So I've been taking like a little thing of tuna with an avocado, mixing them together, super easy, quick lunch. I've also just been doing a lot of um, leftovers. I've been craving a lot of soup because it has been super cold here. So last night I made a kale cabbage soup with, it was kale, cabbage, two pounds of sweet Italian sausage, a can of Rotel, bone broth, and seasonings it was amazing guys it was so good again I'll post the recipe for you below I've been eating a lot of that and then for sometimes I just need a snack I like to snack on pickles olives cheese pork rinds celery and um, those are like my go-to snacks and then one day I made chocolate chip cookie dough fat bombs they were better than the regular fat bombs I those were so good. I will post the recipe below for that, but those are like the best fat bombs I've ever made and I've made a ton of them and usually they're eh, but these are so good. I could eat them all day long and again, my kids like them. So my kids do not eat keto. I don't think that's safe for a growing child to be in keto. You could have a different opinion on that, but that's mine. I just try to keep them pretty clean on their diet and I do let them try my food, but again, they eat carbs and they eat keto. So I also like to snack, just drink some bone broth. Um, my appetite has really gone down. I used to be like hungry all day, give me more food, give me more sugar, yum, 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 I want more food. Now it's like I'm eating all this fat, so I'm not as hungry. I am not tired at all. I used to be like, oh, it's two o'clock, I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna go take a nap. Um, haven't even wanted a nap, not tired. And then at night at bedtime, I can stay up a little longer too, because I'm just, I'm just not as tired. I feel great. My brain, I feel like it's really clear. My skin is cleared up. I've lost, oh yes, how much weight have I lost? I've lost about five pounds. I am a pretty small person just naturally, so I don't expect to have a, this 
great big massive weight loss. I don't have a ton of weight to lose. Um, I, I do have a little weight to lose just from my pig out fiesta <laughs> on the holidays. So if you have any questions, comment below. Again, please make sure to subscribe. I am going to be doing some more keto vlogs for you guys. Um, tell me about your story. How, how is your keto journey? What are your difficulties? What's hard for you? What's easy? Mine is the sugar. Like I could, I could eat sugar all day long and I, as much as I'm not having the cravings, if I think about, ooh, a brownie, I would love to go eat one. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you are doing well if you were on keto or trying to explore keto. I'd love to answer any questions for you. Junk Free Mama signing off.